Polysports Universal front disc and bottom fork guard have been tested and I'm going to tell you why they are one of my favorite protection accessories. Stay tuned. When Polysport designed the front disc guard, they decided to make it more versatile than similar products from other brands, by also protecting a widely disregarded and exposed area, the bottom of the forks. Once the bottom fork guard is installed, the disc guard is easy to install and remove, which is useful to do maintenance work on your brakes or simply to wash the bike. And let's face it, this disc guard looks freaking damn good. Kudos for that. This disc guard can also accommodate oversized discs and will fully protect the disc and brake caliper as well. It can't get better protected than this. However, this product isn't perfect and making a universal product brings some downsides. First, like every plastic discard, it has an Achilles heel. Although it will do a great job at deflecting most of the impact, on big lateral impacts it can come into contact with the brake disc. And second, the instruction sheet isn't helpful, to be honest. I literally spent 15 minutes trying to figure out how to install the bottom fork guard on my bike. But fear not. I'll show you how to install the bottom fork and disc guards and even give you some tips about the installation. With the protections comes a bunch of bolts, bushings and inserts that can be overwhelming. But let's break this part by part. Let's start with the non-brake side bottom fork guard. Remove the bolt on the back securing the fork's guard and the inner bolt securing the front wheel axle. Install the bottom fork guard and install the two bushings, one in the front and another on the back. Each bushing only fits correctly in one place, so do it trial by error if needed. Now screw the second smallest bolt on the back and screw the big bolt with a full thread in front. Now let's move to the brake side and install the bottom fork guard. Start by installing the two threaded inserts in the bottom fork guard, with the cubed insert on the side and the T-shaped insert on top. Then install the big bushing in front and the flat cylindrical bushing on the side. Now remove the inner bolt securing the front wheel axle and the bottom bolt securing the brake caliper support. And finally, screw the longest bolt on the brake caliper support and screw the other long bolt on the front of the bottom fork guard. Now to the discard. Installing it couldn't be easier. Place each of the two remaining and identical bushings on top and on the side. After positioning the brake discard in place, screw the smallest bolt on top and the remaining bolt on the side of the discard. When you're reinstalling the discard, don't push the side bolt securing the discard into the threaded insert. 
This will make the insert pop out of its place and you'll have to disassemble the whole bottom fork guard to reinstall it again. Start by slightly screwing the bolt until you feel it is threaded into the insert. If you want to remove the disc guard but still keep the bottom fork guard, don't forget to screw the bolt on the threaded insert again or it will be lost after the first couple of minutes. Keep in mind that this was the installation guide for the Beta with ZF Sash front forks, so it might vary according to the suspensions you have. Have you tried this product? Share in the comments below what you think about it. Thank you for watching and see you next time.